Hello students, I pray all well when the pandemic is revisiting. Students, it is a good news that I am going to start new batches from class from 4th April 2021, this time to cover class 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 classes. Yes, students, you heard it is true, it is right. I will start with class 11th in which the topics relevant to board and JE men's exams will be covered. The video durations will be on an average of 50 to 60 minutes for class 10th and 11th classes where numerous previous year questions of JE and board level topic will be covered and discussed in good depth and the video frequency may be little bit low, but the I promise you students the quality content will be rise exponentially. In this journey students, I need your support, all you have to cooperate me and towards you by sharing our beautiful channel with your friends. So, now let us meet in our class now, now we focusing on the quality of the video, not on the quantity of the video. Now, let us start today, we start with class 11 important chapter set theory. Okay. Now, let us start with the set theory. Just you tell me students, what do you mean by set? The set is the collection of elements, a set is the collection of elements. Suppose I say A is the set of English alphabet. What is English alphabet? A, B, C, D, you know there are 26 alphabet, 26 alphabet. Then let A be the set of collection of English alphabet. Now, let us take B be the set of vowels. What are the vowels? You know A, E, O, I, E. These are set of vowels. This is the set of natural number and this is the set of vowels. A, the set of vowel B is a subset of set of A because the all the elements present in the set of vowel are also present in the set of alphabet. Those A is also an English alphabet, E is also an English alphabet, I, O, U, all those vowels are also alpha belongs to the set of A. In this case, we say that B is the subset of set A. Okay. Now, let us discuss in depth what do you mean by a set and there are types of set. Let n be the set of natural number. This is the set of natural number. What is natural number? Natural numbers are the counting numbers, natural number, set of natural number, <coughs> the counting numbers. This means 1, 2, 3, 4, all these are set of natural numbers. Then W is the set of whole number, it only includes 0 and all the set of natural number including 0 is called the set of whole number. Then here the W is the set which contains 0, 1, 2, all this. In this case we say that N is also a subset of W. Set of natural number is a subset of set of whole number. Now, let us keep it here and now discuss in the depth of about it. Now, Z is the set of integers. Z is the set of integers which contains, you know students, what is, what are integers? Integers are, suppose Z is the set of integers, it is minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, this is the set of integers. It is also infinite set, it is also infinite set because the number of elements in set of natural number, set of whole number and set of integers are uncountable. Then Z plus is the set of positive integers where Z minus is the set of negative integers. 
In this case, we say that Z plus is subset of Z, subset of subset of Z, and Z minus is also subset of Z. Look at here. Here the set of natural number is subset of whole number. Whole number is also whole number is the subset of integer. Means the set of whole number 0, 1, 2, all are contained in the set of integer. Now let us discuss the type of the type of sets. What are the type of sets? The empty set, what do you mean by empty set? Empty set is the set which empty set is also denoted as null set. Means this set contains nothing. The number of elements present in an empty set is 0. Means there are no elements present in this set. Let us take examples. I have already told you students. You can understand better the maths by discussing the examples. Suppose I say A is the set in such that x is such that x square is equal to minus 2. This is a null set because x such that x belongs to x belongs to x such that x square is equal to minus 2 where x belongs to natural number. Can square of any number cannot be a negative number. In this case, we say that A is a null set because there is nothing can be found in the set X. Then let us discuss more examples of null set or empty set. The empty set or null set can be denoted in this in the roster in the form roster. And, and it is also in roster method, it is denoted by this, means nothing is present. The null set in the roster method can be represented in this way. Now, let us discuss some more examples of, let us consider let x b be the set which contains the element x, where x is an e natural number any natural number where x lies between less than 6 and greater than 5. Can you find a natural number which is greater than 5 and less than 6? No, because you cannot find a natural number means counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all natural numbers, counting numbers. Can you find a number which is less than 6 and greater than 5? No, then we say that B is also an example of null set. This can be represented in this form because nothing can be present in this set. Now, let us discuss about what is single tone set. The single tone set. Single tone set is the set which contains only one, which has only one element. Suppose, <coughs> Single tone set is the a set containing a single element. Let, please students note down the important, important notes. The single tone set, it is the set, it is the set which contains, which contains a single element, which contains a single element. Suppose single element. Suppose Example, let 5, this is a set, let A be the set which contains only 5. This is the set of single tone set. Now, let us take another examples. I have already told you when you analyze more and more examples, then you can find a better idea about the theory. Only knowing theory is not sufficient for maths. Now, let us take another example. Let S be the set in which contains the element x in such a way that x belongs to the natural number and x square is equal to 25. Then here this is means this is the set 5. This is also an example of a single tone set. Means here the set contains a single element. Okay. Now let us discuss about, now let us discuss about what do you mean by finite set? What do you mean by finite set? 
Now let us discuss what is the finite set. The finite set is the set which contains the finite number of elements, finite set. Please students note down the important notes. The definition of finite set says that it is the set, it is the, please students follow my class regularly. I promise you to complete your syllabus in full depth and in this sessions I also discussed about previous year JE main and board level questions and, con and I will discuss all chapters in depth. Then if you continue my classes regularly, I promise you students there is no need of any extra math classes. I will cover the class class. then. That is why I say you that maths lesson is the complete solution of maths. It is the one stop solution for maths. It, the channel will cover class 7, class 8, class 9, class 10 and class 11 maths in full depth and whole syllabus will be covered here. And students, if you have any doubt, you do your worksheet regularly. And if you have any doubt, ask me in my comment box. I promise you to clear your all doubt. Now, let us start. Now, let us continue with this. The finite set, it is the set which contains, it is the set which contains finite number of elements, which contains finite number of elements, finite number of elements. Let us say an example, the set of English alphabet. How many uh, elements are present in this? The set of English alphabet. Yes, the set of English alphabet contains 26, 26 elements. <coughs> Another examples of finite set is set of vowels. Yes. The set of vowels, it is also a finite set. This set contains, suppose V is the set of vowels which contains a finite number means A, E, I, O, E. This is also an example of a finite set. Then if I say another example, take another example. <coughs> you say if I take <coughs> S is the set S is the set of natural number, S is the set of natural number which contains natural number, natural number less than 50. This is also a fine example of a finite set, 1, 2, up to, up to 49. This is also a finite set. Means the finite set is the set which contains finite number of elements. Then now let us discuss what is infinite set. What is infinite set? Infinite set means the set <coughs> which contains infinite number of elements. Infinite set. Infinite set. This is the set which contains, which contains infinite number of elements, which contains infinite number. Best example, set of natural number, set of whole number, infinite number of elements. This is the infinite set. Please students, you say the example, n is the set of natural number. N is the set of natural number. N is the set of natural number. Natural number. This is also an example of infinite set. Then suppose I say another example. Let A be the set of B the set of Event, L will be the set of 
odd prime number n be the set of odd prime number odd prime numbers this is also an example of infinite set odd prime numbers odd prime numbers 3 5 7 11 13 17 in this way this 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 set contains infinite number of elements we this is the example of infinite set then z is also an example of infinite set because the z is the set of integers set of integers it is also an example of infinite set now let us discuss about what do we mean by equivalent set now let us discuss about equivalent set equivalent set is the set two sets are said to be equivalent set in when there are number of elements of these two sets are equal equivalent set when the support <coughs> the please note down the definitions the finite sets the finite sets are called the finite sets are called equivalent set are called equivalent equivalent set equivalent set when when the number of elements present are equal when the number of elements present are equal present are equal this means suppose i say if x belongs to a then each element of a must be present in the set b then we say that f a and b are equivalent set suppose a is the set 1 2 3 4 then b is another set which contains 4 2 1 3 these two are these two are called equivalent set and also equal set now equivalent sets another examples i say set equivalent set suppose a is b is the set of vowels set of vowels means number of elements in the b set is equal to 5 and let a be a set which contains the natural numbers less than 6 means 1 2 3 4 5 then in this case we say that set b is equivalent set of a where the number of elements of set b is equal to number of elements of set a now let us discuss more examples about this equivalent set now let us discuss more example about equivalent set suppose a b any sorry take more example suppose a b any set which contains the a b c d e f this is a set then take a set b which contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 these two sets are called equivalent set because the number of because the number of elements present in a is equal to number of elements present in b then these two sets are called equivalent set then now let us discuss about what is equal set equal sets means both the sets are equal equal sets this means the please students note down the definition of equal set a and b a and b are said to be equal set are said to be equal set equal set when each element element of set a is also a member of is also a member of set b is also a member of set b okay 
then suppose A is in 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is another set and B is and B is another set which contains 4, 3, 2, 1. In this case, we say that A and B are equal sets because each member of set A is also a member of set B. In this case, we say that these A and B are equal set. Then today, today this much in my next session, we will continue with this. Till then, happy learning and keep sharing our beautiful channel with your friends. Okay. Thank you, students.